Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Call of Fame Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are reviewing Jersey Shore Family Vacation Season 5, Episode 13, Live in La Vida Loca. The bio here reads, Mike learns that blondes have more fun, Polly takes over Madison Square Garden, and the group chat is lit when pictures surface of Angelina in Mexico with a man who's not her husband. Uh, Jersey Shore back uh, from you know the second half of season five here. Uh, new premiere, stoked to see them back. I kind of had given up watching last season to be God honest with you because it's the same shit. And as I watched this one, a little bit more fun, but still the same shit. Angelina and Chris are still going through it. It's still on the er verge of divorce every fucking time, man. So um, the episode starts off and it's exactly that. I suppose they had gotten this resolution that they were gonna get together and fix things up and fix their relationship up, but it's not like that. Angelina fucking says that her and Chris have only had sex one time their whole marriage. One time. I might have sex with my girl one time filming this fucking podcast. What are you talking about? One time in your whole marriage. That's crazy. She's saying she's laying there butt naked and he ain't doing nothing. Come on, bro. It's your lady trying to get hit right there. You got to show her some love and compassion. Either way, Angelina is getting ready for some show. She's doing some all-star show cast thing uh, for other people from Jersey Shore fucking type shows that they got all over the world. So she's gone. Boom. She's going to handle that show. Meanwhile, the guys are getting ready for <clears throat> Romeo, which is uh, the situation's son. He's getting baptized. Mike does his hair blonde. And he lets people know that the blondes have more fun. And he tries to live out that scene from The Godfather while they're baptizing his kid. Uh, the guys are cool. The guys are fun, man. Meanwhile, uh, after that, Paulie is getting ready because he's going to DJ Madison Square Garden for a hockey game. You know, for uh, whatever fucking hockey team is out there. But, you know, it's him. Um, Vinny, fucking Paul, Paulie, or Paulie and Vinny getting ready for it. Nikki's over there as well. Um, the girls go out for tea, and then fucking um, uh, JWoww and Snooki go and hang out. Same bullshit. The fucking charcuterie boards while they fucking drink wine. Uh, meanwhile, we have um, what's homeboy's name? As I keep saying, um, uh, Angelina finally gets back from her trip, and she decides she met some guy there, and she like him. And he's showing her love and attention and treating her real nice and tender, you know what I mean? So him, her and this motherfucker are going to go to Mexico. Is she going to enjoy her time? Boys, if you ain't fucking your lady, somebody else will, I swear to God. So she goes to Mexico and she tells everybody she's still on this trip and she sends pictures to Mike. Sure enough, Mike sends him to the whole squad and in the background it says fucking Cancun in there. So everyone takes a long, hard guess where she is. But uh, as the episode ends, she invites uh, Dina over, and her and Dina are going to talk, and they got a lot to talk about, apparently, and the episode ends just as that goes. You know how it is. Typical hour episode from Jersey Shore. I wish they would give us a two-hour premiere like they did a couple seasons ago, but just the one here. couple things to note. First off, I'm not watching Buckhead Shore quit trying to make shit happen. Second, you guys were really pushing this other show that's going on that's supposedly going to come out. I'm not going to watch that. Third, this episode is taking place right before Christmas in December. It is now the very end of June. You make us wait six fucking months for you to put this shit on? Bro, three months this shit be, should be cranking out. Four months, maybe. But I mean, to wait, make us wait six months? Bro, that's a long time to start fucking planning shit out. Um, but yeah, it's the end of Christmas. They have the New Year's thing there too. But six months, it's a long time. I'm sure the beefs have already been squashed by now. Um, it's an okay episode, man. I'll have to stay and see. We get a sneak peek. It looks like uh, maybe Nikki gets in some drama. It looks like a lot of crying. JWoww's crying. Dina's crying. Snooki's crying. Looks like we might get the old sitch back. Uh, the season could be good, man, but uh, those are just my observances, things that I've noticed off the rip. Let me know what you guys think, man. I obviously cover a lot of Jersey Shore bullshit. Bring back Double Shot at Love. Those are my homegirls. Bring it all back. I'm not watching the other weirdo shows of Jersey Shore that they try and make. I'm not watching Buckhead Shore, Floor Bama Shore, blah, 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 blah. I'm not watching that shit. But let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled the K. And that's all for today. Radio.